We're going to be getting all new Star Wars and Marvel hotels at Walt Disney World and Disneyland Paris, but we'll discuss exactly where they're going to go up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack, this is DSMY Newscast, go ahead and subscribe down below, hit the notification icon, and also subscribe to Universal Newscast for everything to do with Universal Studios news. And with that being said, let's get right to it. So, as we've been covering on DSMI Newscast ever since this channel began only three months ago, Disney had a research survey leaked to the public that suggested that they intended on building the very first Star Wars hotel at Walt Disney World. Well now, it's been officially confirmed, and despite the location not being mentioned at the keynote, we've heard rumours that the location of the hotel will be right next to where Disney's Hollywood Studios is. However, we have these new pieces of concept art to show just how truly immersive this hotel is going to be, as it's what Disney are calling their 360 vacation concept, and it will surely be raising the entire idea of hospitality to a whole new level. As with this experience, you will be able to eat, sleep, and breathe Star Wars every second of the day, with guests encouraged to dress up and create a character, and then stay in character the whole time. So it's a bit like Westworld, but for Star Wars instead. And also, you'll be going on special missions around the resort and interact with all different characters and aliens along the way. And this really does sound like a cosplayer's dream. But this hotel is rumoured to be limited to a two-night stay only, with a price being $650 per night, with an additional charge of $200 per person, with a maximum of four people per room. But this isn't just going to be a hotel, it's going to be its very own mini experience, much the same way that you add Typhoon Lagoon or Blizzard Beach onto your Walt Disney World stay. Then Disney announced a brand new Disney Vacation Club Resort coming to Walt Disney World that will be called Disney Riviera Resort and will feature a rooftop restaurant with views of the fireworks at Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. And this resort will be getting a Disney Skyliner station stop with the new resort occupying the recently demolished section of the Caribbean Beach Resort. Disney's Riviera Resort is expected to open in late 2019. And so we're going to be moving on to Disney Disneyland Paris, and we didn't get an awful lot of Disneyland Paris news announced. But then again, since Disney now own Disneyland Resort Paris, maybe we'll be hearing some exciting new announcements come from Disneyland Paris directly later this year, if not early next year. But what we did get confirmed is that the Hotel New York will become a Marvel-themed hotel called Hotel New York The Art of Marvel, which will feature many different display case exhibits of iconic Marvel items, such as Tony Tony Stark's Iron Man suit, Captain America's shields, and Thor's hammer, just to name a few. But it seems that Disney are really striking the right balance between this art gallery theme and also keeping it classy enough to make it a four-star resort. And that's it for this video, but now it's over to you, the Walton Ears, as I would like to know, now that you've heard more about this new Star Wars hotel at Disney's Hollywood Studios and that it's been officially announced, would you be willing to pay $650 per night to stay at this Star Wars hotel? And also, don't forget to put the Hidden Mickey timestamp along with your answer to be in with a chance to win a DSMY Newscast pin. And with that being said, I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.